shall we? Yo! What's up, everybody? Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. Uh, it's time to do a little 1819 Revolution Basketball Chinese New Year. Uh, eight box break number number nine. All right. What's up, Zach? All righty. Here are the cases. Let's knock this out. So this is number nine. Number ten is coming up after this. I ripped a box open of this for a, for a buddy of mine that won one in a dice roll break that we have in the store. So this is my first time uh, looking at this stuff. Dude, Zachary, I just got in the office, man. So I, I don't have any idea. I haven't checked emails. I haven't checked eBay messages. Actually, I was checking eBay messages there for a little bit. But I got in the office super late today. In case you didn't know, Zach, yesterday was my day off. And I'm not sure if you emailed us about that or whatnot, but, dude, I, I I know nothing right now, Zachary. I know nothing. I'm sure I can find tracking for you, though. Did you send us an email by any chance? That way I could just respond to the email and be done with it that way. Or I could just email you later today. Gotcha, Zachary. And I'm pretty sure we shipped that out, but like I said, let me knock this out. And I'll check on that for you, alright? Uh, what's up, Israel? This is uh, Revolution Basketball number 9. Uh, this is the first box, actually. I just started, so. Good luck, everyone, in this. You're gonna need it. <laughs> This is a uh, tough, tough, tough break to get a hit in. All these Chinese New Year, like it's all Chinese New Year's. They don't have any lavas or anything like that. At least from the one box that I did, all the variations are the New Year uh, variations. And this product is known to have different ones. Like I said, the lavas, the galactics, and so on and so forth. So I'm curious to see what comes out of this stuff here well Braden I mean as far as the dice roll it, we have it on our site so you can look at the site and if you scroll down you're gonna see a list of things that you could potentially win Devin Booker of the Suns to 88 I actually went to go see the Heat play the Suns last night and we lost and I'm not surprised because the Heat suck and we're probably trying to tank right now <laughs> that's what it feels like it feels like we're trying to tank and uh i'm not a fan of that but yeah uh brayden like i uh like i said check the website man they, we do have three different ones we have a a 59 dollar one we have a 79 dollar one and we have a 34 dollar one each has different things in them but the, there's a chance to hit something big in all of them, really. In the $59 uh, dollar one, you could hit a rookie Deshaun Watson, uh, number to five. Just to, you know, give you a little idea. You could win a, a rookie uh, Tal Patch Relic of Mahomes as well. You can get a Steph Curry, uh, PSA to 10. In the $79 one, you could win a Kobe Bryant uh, Timeless Treasure Auto 
uh, autograph, on card autograph too, number to 100. Or you could win a rookie Ben Simmons PSA 10 out of Mosaic Basketball. And like I said, it's, they, they all have their own little uh, things to go to, to chase after, if you will. What's up, Greg? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. How about you? Well, Israel, like I said, uh, thank you, man. appreciate that. How's everything with you, Greg? Oh, excuse me. I wonder if I can hit an autograph in this. Which I hear is dang near impossible. DeMar DeRozan of the Spurs to 88. What's up, Matt? How are you? I heard that, Greg. I'm doing all right, man. I can't complain. I can't complain. Looking forward to uh, March 6th when we get all those crazy releases coming out. We do have Heritage bat, uh, Baseball coming out tomorrow. Nice looking stuff in there. There you go, Brayden. I'm glad you feel that way. Because definitely the honeymoon stage is right now. Select Basketball comes out the 6th, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it comes out on the 6th. Yeah. When is the 6th? Which would be next week, Wednesday. So next week, Wednesday, is going to be huge releases. Select basketball, encased football, and uh, actually later this week, I believe, on the first Friday, we got Contenders football coming out. That should be good stuff. I'm a little jealous that Jason has that on his day off. I'm uh, not too not not too happy that uh, he's probably gonna rip all of that. Excuse me. All right, what do we have in this? This is box three, if anybody's keeping count. It seems to me there's like one numbered card in every box. I don't know. I haven't done this enough to to pick up on the uh, on the patterns, if you will. What up, Empire? The Heat game was good up until the, the last quarter when we just decided not to play anymore. Despite Dwayne Wade's best efforts, we lost. It was it was it was a bad, bad game. What's up, Empire? How are you? Marvin Bagley of the Kings to eighty eight. Well jazz tickets should be getting more expensive, man. You guys are a good team. Heat prices vary depending on who we play. Like when we play the Suns, tickets were dirt cheap. Yeah, uh, I was sitting like very like I was like 
maybe 10 rows behind the uh, the the backboard. Like, I was very close. I had really good seats. The best seats I've ever had at, at attending a Heat game, to be honest. Um, dirt cheap going to a Suns game, but if you try to go to, like, let's say LeBron's in town, those tickets are going to be super expensive. So it, it varies depending on who we play. I know there's a few teams in the in the league that do that. But it really all depends. Yeah, the, the Suns game was yesterday. The Suns game was last night. Ah, oh, dude, I can only imagine a Lakers game, a Laker t a ticket, man. You're paying to go see LeBronathan. And, you know, you're in L.A., Hollywood... A lot of factors, a lot of factors. I, I mean, shoot, I remember when LeBron played in uh, in Miami. I never got to see LeBron play once in Miami because the ticket prices were just ridiculous. To sit in the nosebleeds, like, at least $100. Yeah, no thank you. Uh, I, I'd, I'd much rather watch from the comfort of my own home. No thank you. Uh, 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 I kind of have a little bit of regret. It would have been nice to see LeBron play live at least once. But yeah, tickets were just ridiculous when he was down here. Dude, Israel, I believe it, bro. I believe it. James Harden's streak uh, was broken the other night. I think yesterday, he failed to put up 30 points, and the streak is over at like 32 or something like that. You seen that, right, Greg? Yeah. It was a beautiful move. Like, and not for nothing, I don't know if you actually saw the game last night, Greg, but uh, we were winning pretty much the entire game. And then come the fourth quarter, we kind of just stopped playing basketball. And D. Wade, you know, he, he got us back. Single-handedly, D. Wade got us back. We were, we were up a point. And then we just discombobulated. I feel like the Heat really are trying to tank without looking like they're tanking. But they're tanking. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Zion in a Heat uniform. I would not mind that at all. This is box number five. Still no autograph. You know, the hunt continues. From what I hear, though, it's a it's a dang near impossible hunt to get an autograph in this stuff. But here I am still hoping to see some greatness. I got a close-up look at DeAndre Ayton, 
A and Miles Bridges, two rookies for the Suns. DeAndre Ayton is going to be a beast in the league. So is Miles Bridges. They need to give that kid more minutes. Miles Bridges is a defensive stopper. Woo! Excuse me. Somebody must be talking about me. Well, that's the saying that we have here. Like, oh, if you're if you sneeze, you know, someone's talking about you. <coughs> Mikal, that's right. Well, whoever plays for the Suns. I think Miles plays for the Hornets. Probably Empire, probably. I would not be surprised if they were. I apologies. Mikal Mikal Bridges. Yeah, that kid needs more playing time. I don't know how we lost that game yesterday, honestly. Devin Booker wasn't even balling like that. Ah, uh, whatever. Lakers might not make the playoffs. Like I predicted at the beginning of the season. Everybody thought I was crazy. Look at him now. In the 11th seed. I think they're done. I don't think they're going to I don't think they're going to finish above 500 or even at 500. LeBron's going to miss the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, I I don't feel sorry for the guy. He should have never left Miami. He really shouldn't have. We, we would have had a dynasty in Miami. All right. What do we have here? Brandon Ingram of the Lakers. 288. Oh, man. I hope the Heat make moves in the offseason. We got some good players, but it's time to move on. And Pat Riley, I trust. Two boxes left. What's today? Tuesday? Yeah. How's everything with you, Blob?
getting dinner going. What you got cooking up? Ready Jackson for the Pistons to 88. American Chop Suey. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever had like regular Chop Suey. Maybe I have. I don't know. I'm going to have to Google that. Oh, dude, Blob, yo, spoiler alert, probably one of the best Raws in a long time. In a long time. You, you got yourself a little treat right there, Blob. The last night's Monday Night Raw was the best in a long time. Like, to the point that I don't think SmackDown is going to surpass it tonight. Like, it was that good. You know, usually SmackDown, or at least in my opinion, SmackDown's been crushing Raw in the ratings and storylines and all that good stuff. But, uh, but yeah. Dude, Blob, that's not even... That's, not, that's just the tip of the iceberg. What's up, Migs? Yeah, 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 we did. We did, you know. Beautiful thing for the Suns. Snapping their win streak against Miami. It was, it was awesome. Are you a Suns fan, Migs? Migs? Last box mojo. See where we can get up out of here. Ah, Bucks fan. I was gonna say. Well, either way, when when the Bucks win a championship, then you can talk to me, buddy. Spoiler alert: Bucks aren't winning it this year. Shoot, a bold prediction, Migs. You could call it my player hater pick of the year. Bucks aren't even making it to the conference final. Book it. All right, let's see what we got here. I just love talking shit. That's what I do. No, dude, my, my player hater pick of the year. Bucks not making it to the conference final. You know, the power rankings have the Bucks as the number one team in the NBA. You and I both know that's a lie. It's going to be the Warriors until somebody dethrones them. Ooh, a rookie Luka. Ooh. A uh, rookie Luka New Year's variation. Very nice. Again, Migs, when your team wins a championship in this decade, talk to me, all right, Migs? Until then, take a seat. Okay, see, better than Golden State? Nah, I don't know. Dude, Golden State's just bored. They are just bored. You know, winning a lot will do that to you. You just get complacent. I wouldn't mind seeing that, that matchup in the conference final, though. I don't know if that could actually happen, but Thunder Warriors in the conference final would be pretty awesome. Anthony Simons for the Blazers to 88. And that's going to do it for the break. So here's what came out of this. We got Simons Blazers 88, Jackson Pistons 88, Ingram Lakers 88, Bagley of the Kings to 88, DeRozan Spurs to 88, and Devin Booker of the Suns. 
to 88. I also stumbled upon a base look at Donkage for the Mavericks and a uh, Happy New Year variation for the Mavericks look at Donkage as well. And that's the break. No autographs, unfortunately. Thank you very much, everybody.